In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a rainbow trail game pass in Roblox Studio. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's one, I'm going to be showing you how to make a game pass trail, rainbow trail in Roblox Studio. So let's go. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to server script service and you want to insert a script and you're going to want to delete print hello world. And you're going to want to name this like, um, just, I'm going to name it trail for now, press enter. So once you've got that, we're going to leave this and we're going to actually make a, um, a trail, which is an actual object in server storage. So click the plus button and insert a trail. Now you can customize this trail how you want, but um, we'll actually do that later. So at the moment, to make it rainbow, you want to click on the color and click on these three dots. That will open this um, little GUI thing and you want to do what I do. So I'm going to make it rainbow. So let's get rid of that. On here, you want to set the color to um, red. So 255, 2550, like that. And then um, a few bits later, you want to click on there and then you want to change this to um, yellow. Like that. You can space this out a little bit. Okay, so then you want to insert another one and you want to change the color to green. And you want to just keep doing this until you get to the pretty much the whole rainbow sequence. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you've got your trail, you want to um, make sure that they're all evenly spaced. So as you can see, green is a lot bigger than yellow, for example. So you can select this and then click another one, like a little bit further forward. And then make sure it's the same color. So this is 025525. So you can go on this one and make it 025525, like that. And then that will make it bigger like so and then you just want to do that for pretty much all of them all the small colors like yellow okay so you can once you've done that you can adjust the time here if you want to be super accurate but i'm not just, i'm just not going to do that now so once it looks about right you can just go ahead and close that and that should make it rainbow now so now we're going to go into this script and we're going to start some scripting. All my scripts will be in the description if you like, can't be bothered to copy them, copy them down. You can just do control C, control V on them. Okay. So in this one, you're going to type, you're going to want to type game dot players dot player added colon connect function player. So this is basically when there is a player, when a player joins, do this function. So this is the player join function. So player dot character added colon connect Ooh. connect function char. So that's short for character. So local trail. So this is the trail defining the trail equals game dot server storage dot trail and then you're going to want to clone it so that um all players that have the game pass have it so clone like that so that locates it so game server storage trail so that locates that so trail dot parent equals char dot head so that will just make sure, so that will send the trail from server storage to the player's head, which means it will come out of the player. And then um, you need attachment. So local attachment, attachment zero, because we're going to have multiple, equals instance dot new attachment, and then comma char dot head. Okay, once you've got that, attachment zero dot name equals trail attachment. 
local attachment one equals instance dot oh, dot new attachment comma char dot humanoid root part humanoid root part and then attach oh wait attachment one dot name equals oh, trail attachment one okay and then two more lines trail dot attachment zero equals attachment zero trail dot attach one attachment one equals attachment one so that is the trail script so this is going to give all the players in the game the trail now if you want all the players to receive the trail in your game then you can just keep this and leave it how it is but if you want people with a game pass to have the trail then i'm gonna you're gonna need to insert another script like that oh not a local script a script and i'm going to call this trail trail game pass so this is the trail with the game pass and then in here you're going to want to type game dot players dot player added colon connect function player enter that and then player dot character added colon connect function char character wait two seconds so that's just waiting two seconds um to allow all the other scripts to get in and allow the trail to get into the um character's head before this trail works before the script works so local trail equals char dot head dot trail um local market place service equals game colon get service marketplace service local user ooh, user id equals player dot user id local player bought this game pass because why not equals marketplace service dot colon user owns game pass async user id without a capital there comma um we know it is a capital there my bad user id comma space then you want to put the game pass id of the game pass that you want in there so to get the game pass id you need to do this if you don't already have a game pass then i'm going to show you how to make one so you need to go to here i'll put a link to this in the description and you need to just basically put a name so i'm going to put test and then test and you have to choose a image for the um for the game pass so i'm going to choose one of those And I'm going to choose that image that I made a while ago in Photoshop. Press preview. And then that will let you see what it will look like. Obviously, the icon will be there. And then verify upload. So once you got it, you got that, you want to go on it. And then you want to um, get the ID, which is up here. So control C or right click copy. And then you want to go to your Roblox studio. And then you want to insert it here. Control V or right click and paste there. But let me get rid of that. So that's that. And then just a few more lines. So if player oh, if player bought this game pass, then trail dot enabled equals true. And um 
so this will make it so the trail is enabled and you can see it on the character and you can put here trail dot life lifetime equals um and then you can put any number you want i think 2.75 looks quite good on the trail so this is how long the trail is behind you and i'll you'll see that in a few minutes else so otherwise if they haven't bought the game pass then trail dot enabled equals false so that is pretty much your whole script so it's not actually for sale so you'll need to click this click configure sales item for sale i'm just going to leave mine at one robux but you can change that to whatever you want so it's automatically in your inventory so you can't really test that actually i just realized so game dot players my bad do that for this one as well I'll put the correct version in the description, so if you copied and pasted, you don't have to do that. So, let's test it out. And as you can see, there is now a rainbow trail behind me, which I think is pretty cool. So, um, I changed the lifeline to 2.75, which is why it's this long. If I was to change it to, let's say... Um, five which is quite long then it would look like this like that which is quite a bit longer so you can change that to whatever length you want and then if you stop then it will come in also it's got a nice little transparency which i don't think you can change i have tried changing it but i don't think you can so thank you very much for watching if this video did help you then um leave a like and maybe even subscribe we actually reached 50 subscribers a few days ago which is pretty good and um leave a comment because um i'm always open to suggestions for future videos if you have any questions or issues which a lot of you might have um post them in the comments i will i'll try my best to answer them as soon as possible so the um the first person to comment the on this video will um receive a shout out in the next video and yeah so thank you for watching have a great day and goodbye